was just practicing my flying pizzicato. I want to talk to you about that term today and we're going to try it together. Flying pizzicato is what I was just doing where pizzicato means to pluck the strings and when you pluck the strings and then you fly with your arm, that's what makes it flying pizzicato. So we'll start with our feet together in rest position hand and our left hand in middle position. Let's take a good hold of that and go to Statue of Liberty and put it in playing position after that. So Statue of Liberty, take the end button, bring it down to the middle of your throat and find that good jaw hold with the side of your chin on the chin rest, pressing down and in. And once you're comfortable there, test it out by letting go for a second and then put your hand right back in middle. So pizzicato is going to be done with our right hand, our index finger, and we're going about an inch down from the end of the fingerboard. We'll start by um, plucking the G string and then going across all the rest of the strings after that. Okay, so let's start by doing that first, and then we follow through and make somewhat of a circle, but if it were actually a circle, it would be pretty pretty wide. We go down and very high, but instead we'll call it an oval. I think that's a more accurate term, which means we'll go down first and then kind of come back in a more flattened shape rather than a full circle. All right, so let's do a couple of those. Ready? Go. you've found the center of your balance while you're in playing position and your feet are in the right place and you'll notice that I'm going to the left every time I do my pizzicato um, and then I'm returning to center so we go to the left and then when we bring our hand back we return to center so if I didn't return to center and I just went left look what would happen left and then I brought my hand around and then if I have to go left again from this place, I would just probably fall over because I'd be leaning too far to the, left, to the left. So instead, let's try that a couple more times, paying attention to returning to our center after the pizzicato. So go out and then return on the way back. Good. Again. Nice and flat. And return. Okay. And so I hope you paid attention to the balance of your body that time. One more thing to think about in flying pizzicato is that when you make your oval, you should draw kind of like in front of you or in front of your belly button. Okay, so instead, one of the common problems that you might want to do is like act like you're swimming and kind of go way back here with the big arm motion. Even if it's still an oval, you might go this way. Instead, think of it as going in front of your belly button and then returning. We'll just do it three times in a row um, and then a rest on the fourth one uh, just to practice that return, our shape, and our balance. Ready, go. One, and return, and two. That is the way you can practice flying pizzicato. It helps you maintain your balance and get both hands working uh, opposite each other. And that's going to help set you up for some future motions that you'll need when you play your violin.